Hi, good afternoon. You're watching Midcap Radar. I'm Sumera Abdi, and with me is my colleague Prashant Nair. Well, for the market, it's been a big event. Uh, that's the RBI monetary policy. We've uh, uh, received a 25 basis point cut. And uh, initially, there was some trepidation in the market once a cut was announced. We saw a bit of a fall, actually, on the Nifty Bank on in the market itself. But now it looks like we've recovered and uh, back to the flat line for now. So the frontline indices flat. The mid-cap index seeing just some gains for now. And the Nifty Bank uh, now up about a quarter odd percent. Hi, Prashant. Good afternoon. Samira, so, hi. Uh, and actually, in a way, it's been a big uh, no-show kind of a thing, right? I mean, the entire event, uh, because... Uh, what, I mean, there was a lot, lot more in terms of expectation, but hasn't delivered. The big move, of course, is coming in on the rupee, and we've been discussing that. I mean, it's not so much in stocks. You look at the bank nifty, the nifty, or other parts of the market, but it's the rupee uh, which is uh, showing that big move. 68.9750 is uh, where we ha what we have uh, on the dollar rupee at this point in time. There are some stocks which are buzzing. Indigo at the bottom of the screen, about 4.5% uh, plus. Jet has started to move in the last five minutes. It's up about 2.5%. So over the next 30 minutes, we're going to talk about stocks and more stocks, what's happening. And of course, we'll tell you the reasons why some of these moves are uh, being seen. Uh, so let's uh, kick it off, as always, with uh, the headlines at uh, 1.30. The Reserve Bank of India cut a repo rate by 25 basis points as expected. It's kept monetary policy stance unchanged at neutral. CPI inflation forecast is revised downward, downwards. A growth forecast target for F520 is also cut to 7.2% from 7.4% earlier. The equity market remains sanguine to RBI's rate moves. The Nifty and Sensex see some volatility, but trade absolutely fat, a flat. Nifty Bank trades marginally high. The rupee extends losses to trade near the day's low. RBI Governor Shakti Kandada stresses that all major cases referred to NCLT will not be affected by the Supreme Court order uh, of the 12th of February circular. Says the central bank may look at issuing a revised circular for resolution of stressed assets soon. Interglobe Aviation stock rises 5% after sources suggest that 10 to 12 unused slots of jet airways at Delhi airport have been offered to other carriers. Indigo receives 4 to 5 slots while SpiceJet receives about 7. Dish TV gains 3% today after CNBC TV 18 learns that Singtel and Airtel are set to make a combined offer to acquire the promoter's 60% stake in Dish TV for over 6,100 crore rupees. Okay, so uh, the market's uh, flat. Let's ask uh, Ashwini what should one do. Ashwini, thanks very much for joining in at 1.30 as always. Your sense of the market reaction post-policy and what would you do? Well, it wasn't the extreme reaction that was expected because it wasn't an extreme policy. So my sense is that uh, the Nifty and Bank Nifty should have... Uh, you know, a good next couple of hours and uh, the bank nifty should recover towards its uh, yesterday's highs because uh, the market setup has not been disturbed and uh, the nifty after hitting say about 10,600 is now moving back on the upside so that way uh, you know you can say this event was a small hiccup and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, very soon, as early as today, tomorrow, uh, you are back to your uh, new high uh, ways. So th that way, uh, this is a time to get back into long, into uh, you know, on Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. Having said that, individual stocks, uh, I would think, uh, HDFC is a buy with a stop of 2020, target of 2055. Uh, Axis Bank is a buy with a stop of 767, target of 790. And HDFC Bank is a buy with a stop of 2280, a uh, target of 2350. And this I am saying because if you remember, just after the policy, the bank nifty started to collapse. And that is where some shorts may be trapped. Uh, which may have to cover by the end of the day. Uh, if you can put up a stock, uh, auto comp name, uh, Varrock, Varrock Engineering, uh, it's uh, had this big collapse essentially uh, from what, 11, nearly 1,200 levels to about, uh, you know, 550, 570. Today it's seeing a bit of a move, six and a third of a percent higher. Ashwin, any thoughts here? 
Varrock as in V A I. V A double R O C. Six seventeen is the price, yeah. Varrock engineering, yeah, uh, it's been doing this five eighty to about six sixty sort of range. Today has had a large move, but tough to say that whether it's made a bottom and it's going to go up further. But uh, definitely, it is at support at around five eighty. All right, Ashwini, thanks very much for joining in with your afternoon trades. Let's take a very quick break. Up next, we uh, track the big news. That's the Reserve Bank's Monetary Policy Committee, which has cut the repo rate by 25 basis points to 6%. Uh, we'll uh, hear out what Governor Shakti Kanta Das had to say, as well as reactions from a host of experts.